task one your expectation is to actually set up the database all right and set up the tables and set up the table structure okay so first you have to load the database uh, software which is access then you need to choose select and blank this is not the only way okay I'll show you another way as well yeah but you also need to know this way so you, you need to select blank when you select blank then after that you need to specify two things one would be to give it a name yeah and you are going to be told normally you don't use these kind of names but in this case the guide tells you names database task one follow the instruction it's better and you also have to specify where the database is going to be created uh, you change that you need to be looking this way now please everyone look this way so you need to give a name I told you two things yeah this is a very important part the other one is to specify where the database is going to be saved the first one is to give it a name second one is where it's going to be saved so you give it a name by changing the name here in this part but you change where it's going to be saved by clicking on the folder icon alright and then after that you click create that's the easy part uh, in the when you are creating there are two important views one would be design view another one would be data sheet view design view is where you design the structure whereas the, the data sheet view is where you enter the data good uh, so you need a table to do that so when you create the table you also need to save it in th on this case you are going to save it with the name course I would say you know leave out your name okay says name I don't think I don't think you are going to cheat you are going to do it for real isn't it yeah so just name it course is the proper way you don't add your names normally so once you, s you save it with the name course then you need to create the table structure course code weeks number of students those fields need to be specified I will show you practically how it's done you, you write the field names on the left column here you write the data type for each of them you not write but select on the right column again practically I'll show you uh, in data you know once you specify all of it in data sheet view you change the view you enter the data so you the data you need to enter are the followings the next one will be task 2 yeah so this is the overview of task task 2 I'm, I'll save this video for you and then practically we'll do it together